The minimum recommended amount of cardio is 2.5 hours per week. Do you meet that minimum requirement? Because I don't. And that's because all of my days are spent at a desk or on a couch. So here I am, arguably a bit too close, but that's not the point. I'm vowing to do cardio every day for the next 30 days to see if it will boost my mood and increase my stamina. And now for the plan. So the Mayo Clinic says to get at least 150 minutes of moderate cardio or at least 75 minutes of vigorous cardio per week. Because I'm feeling frisky, I'm going to do 300 minutes of moderate cardio, 75 minutes of vigorous cardio, 60 minutes of weights, and one big stretch per week. The schedule is going to look like this. It's very possible that this is a terrible idea, but we don't have any time for those wee doubts, so we're doing the stairs. Yay. It's only been three minutes. Whose idea was this? <laughs> I did it. Cardio. Holy shit. That was terrible. Now I'm gonna go get my butt kick at pickleball with my mother. Zero, zero. Okay. <laughs> no! Were you in the kitchen? What does it even mean? You cow! 11-0, mumsy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Pause. We're getting ahead of ourselves. Rewind. On day zero, I did a VO2 max test to test my stamina. I got 33.76, which is good for my age, but I want to get to superior. Thank you for your patience. Now it's time to lift some weights and go for a walk. I'm also going to Legree tonight, which will be interesting and new for me. Which is good because I'm searching for exercises that I find enjoyable. A Health 101 professor once asked my class what the best form of exercise is. People guessed, cross-country skiing, burpees, running. The professor said everyone was both right and wrong because the best workout is one that a given individual enjoys and is excited to do often. And the internet says, Cardio is more fun when you're doing it with others. So let me introduce you to Larry Espy. First hike since the H-A. It's a saunter. I had a heart attack, a couple cardiac arrests. Yeah. Now you got a fancy robot heart. Yep. Whatever's left, you have to make sure it's as efficient as it can be. So you still have to walk. I'm not dead yet. Okay, step back a bit. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And now it's time for a big stretch with Willie. And that's because recovery is super hecking important. That's also why I went and bought some sugar-free Gatorade to load up on electrolytes and stay hydrated. There are lots of natural ways to consume electrolytes, but Peloton's marketing campaign got me. Let's give this a try. Ugh. I'm going for a run. My name is Lisa. I'm just gonna finish up with a 40 minute walk. Thank God tomorrow morning is water aerobics. That is a pool. Oh wow. I'm sorry. Nobody told me water aerobics was awesome. The resistance from the water is so good on your joints and it's inexpensive. A 30 year old woman I spoke with says her doctor recommended it for her concussion and it helped immensely. Anyway, 10 out of 10 recommend. Quick weight training session and I'm out for another run. Surprising myself. The last one just felt so good, so I figured why not do it again. It's a good way to start the morning. Do I like running? It's 7 p.m. and I haven't done my moderate cardio yet, so... I'm gonna walk my butt over to the grocery store to get some cheese puffs. Okay, now for a quick ranking of week one's workouts based on enjoyableness. Not based on how hard it is because a person can make any workout as hard or as easy as they want it to be. Stairs, just fine. Hit Peloton workout with my favorite instructor, Logan, who I have a weird parasocial relationship with. Yeah, it was fun. Running, pretty fun. Pickleball, I'm sorry, not my favorite. Legree, very fun. I've never done anything like it. Walk, fun. Put in a good podcast. Walk with a friend, fun, depending on how good your friends are. And water aerobics, 10 out of 10. Now for week two. And I'm still searching for fun workouts, so I'm... Walking to spin class. I considered biking, but I figured that wouldn't make much sense. but very fun. Anyway, 
still walking. The thing I find most intimidating about spin classes is setting up the bike. So I just ask the instructor to help me with it every single time. So if you're intimidated by spin class, know that you're not alone and ask for help. Later today, I'm doing something I never wanted to do. And that is paintball. <laughs> I hate my life. Yeah, I'm doing this because this crazy guy had a weird idea of what's fun for a birthday party. Let's hear the safety orientation. I really don't need Why are we doing this? <laughs> it didn't hurt that bad and I'm glad I did it. However, it was a bit intense for me, so it'll be nice to get home, sleep, and then go out for my morning walk. It's fall now. And tonight I'm trying yet another thing I've never done before, which is a dance class. Hi. Okay, what am I to expect here? I got knee pads. Knee pads because there might be floor work but I don't know. Welcome to my first ever dance class. As you can see, I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. I think this is the most nervous I've ever been for an activity in my entire life, but everyone was so nice. And even though I can't dance, it turned out fine. Look at me bending and snapping. Look, I'm doing it again. Look, now I'm walking backwards and doing a fun move. I feel empowered. Do you feel empowered? Yeah. <laughs> Which one's your car? I'm out for a walk in the rain. I just wanted to check in and say that I'm having a lot of fun. I haven't tried new things like this in a really long time and things like paintball, dancing, prioritizing hikes with my parents. It just feels really good. And it feels even better because I can feel like my aerobic capacity is improving. So I'm not tired when I'm doing these things. And that feels great. Anyway. I'm on my way to yoga to do a big stretch. To continue my mini motivational talk this morning, I wanted to share a line from the Mel Robbins TED Talk that has really helped me get up and work out every day. And that's that you're never going to feel like it. It's your job to make yourself do the crap you don't want to do so you can be everything that you're supposed to be. And you're so damn busy waiting to feel like it. And you're never going to. That felt like being in the womb. Ready for bed. Peace. <laughs> Had to stop for the rainbow. Out for another run. We're doing it. Woo. Jesus, it's slippery. And later today, I'm trying something new again. And that's going to be... Salt. Luckily, my very kind friend knows a thing or two about golf, so he taught me some techniques and warm-up drills. And then I actually got to hit a ball. And after that first ball, everything I hit was really good, I didn't make any mistakes, and you can find me on the PGA Tour. I was supposed to do Pilates this morning, but I slept in, so instead I went for a walk. With Willie. Weights in the gym were same old, same old, nothing fancy and exciting there. Saw my workout friend, always good to see him, had a nice little chat. I am starting to feel a little dehydrated, a little tired, so we know what time it is. Woo! I'm just dog sitting, by the way. My parents got him after the heart attack to be a little companion. Let's go. And he has made such a positive impact on all of our morale. So, get a puppy? Come on. The elliptical is not the funnest cardio I've ever done. However, it'll set me up to have fun for cardio later. And I'm sweating a lot. <laughs> is that gonna fall? Hopefully not. Yes. No. Oh, you thought I was done cardio for the day? So did I actually. I really thought it was over. But no, I can't be stopped. I love cardio and the activity tonight is squash yay i love racket sports can't get enough of them i am exhausted it is 8 p.m is this a voiceover and i'm playing in the background maybe anyway yay squash
And we're back for the week two enjoyableness ranking. Spin, it's like a club without alcohol or drugs. Paintball, a bit of an unconventional way to have fun, but fun nonetheless. Dance class, just fun. Yoga, relaxing, fun, perfect, wonderful. Golf, never thought I'd say this, but I had a lot of fun. Dog walk, I mean, it'd be offensive to Willie not to put it up there. Elliptical, not my favorite. Squash, I did have fun, but I'm still getting the hang of it. I'm also gonna do something a little crazy and bump running up to so hecking fun. I'm just really liking it. At this point, I'm on a lifelong hunt for fun workouts. So comment your favorite workout down below and let me know if I've missed any good ones. And while you type, I'm going to jump right back into week three. Is there a drop-in jazzercise class today? Uh, there might be, it wouldn't be here. Oh. Um, jazzercise, eight o'clock. I'm at the wrong rec center. We got ourselves an adventure. It's a seven minute drive and I have exactly eight minutes to get there. One minute. I made it. And at first it felt like I was doing the dance from Scooby-Doo. Just fumbling around trying to follow along. But then I started to get it. And the moment it all changed for me was right here with this move. What is it, a kickball change? I don't know, but it was free. Then at the end, the instructor told us to freestyle. This was my attempt at being free. And then I saw a 97 year old woman who I'd been speaking with earlier and she was really freestyling. So I thought I should give it my best go. It's been a really hard year uh, and dancing felt so good. Sticking with the theme of not being good at any of the cardio things I try, it's time for basketball. Oh! Oh. <laughs> I didn't mean to do it like that. That was a mistake. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. Stay in the game. Oh, it's Yes! Like they call me Austin Reeves. Check it out. Check it out. Boy. Uh. What are you playing? Fast or something? Anthony Davis. Oh! <laughs> I did weights this morning. Same old, same old. Pick things up, put them down, do it all over again. But I just did something a little crazy, a little spicy, something I've never done before. Uh, that was pole dancing. I pole danced for the first time today for my moderate cardio, and it was really fun. But it was also a bit of a strength exercise. The lat strength required is immense. It's crazy. It's it's so cool. The instructor was so athletic and so awesome and funny and nice. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. I told you she was nice. And obviously this was all super empowering. I don't identify as a sexy person. My friends and family often call me a ham, which I don't mind. I typically don't take myself too seriously, but I'm learning that you can be both. So I'm a little sexy ham. And this sexy ham struggled with this move. But then the instructor told me to try to get my butt into her hands and I figured it out. God, I want to be this woman when I grow up. Let's see what tomorrow brings. Today is the first and maybe last day that I walk quickly up a mountain. I usually hate people like this. Ah. Oh my God. The goal is to catch the sunrise, but I think I'm dying. Sunrise. How beautiful. Once I got my butt down the mountain, it was time for another racket sport. Tennis. No! Oh, and, and there will be grunting. You! Oh. Uh, just like everything else I try, I lose. I'm a big loser. Yeah! <laughs> All right, let's go. Actually, I think I'm starting to like it. Just on my way to yoga class to do a big, big stretch. I'm so sore. <laughs> Yoga is one of those sneaky workouts that is really enjoyable and makes a big difference. I once just did yoga every day for three months and the sessions would only be 10 minutes to an hour. And it was probably one of the healthiest chapters in my life. It's just a good reminder that a little bit of movement every day can make a huge difference. Out for a walk in the wind. Hope I don't blow away. Oh no, not flash, what? I slept in. For the most part, I've been so motivated, but this morning, I'm so tired. And the last thing I wanna do is go for a run. 
So let's go for a run. Okay, great. I am. Uh, doing it. That one wasn't as fun as the usual run that I've been going on. Did that make sense? I don't know. Guys. I'm just feeling like a little... <laughs> I'm a lazy bones today. I don't know what my problem is. I went down to the gym wearing this. I'm not even, my hair is not even up. It's a lazy workout today. The treadmill was broken, so I went on the elliptical. And how do you do the elliptical slowly? It's just, anyway, I did it for 20 minutes, but I think I'm gonna finish the rest of the 20 minutes outside. And I'm okay with hard workouts. They suck, but they're rewarding. Mm. But I'm not gonna do a boring workout because if you do too many of those, then you'll never work out again. So here I am, outside, in the rain, but at least it's not the elliptical. So it's actually pretty nice. I never come out at night, this is lovely. The sun is back. I feel better instantly. Funny how that works. <laughs> I'm now going to go to the gym for some weights. Do I really want to? Again, not really. I'm trying to show you my breath. And there's frost on the ground. There's frost on the ground. Today I'm running to stay warm, to survive. Because apparently it's winter. Okay. Here I am at 9.30 p.m. walking. Time for tier ranking week three. There have definitely been a lot of ups and downs this week and I got through it by just doing it. I will say that time boxing the vigorous cardio for just 20 minutes has been very impactful because I can convince myself to get up and move for 20 minutes. But okay, here we go to tier ranking. Jazzercise, surprising to no one, this was awesome. Basketball, I couldn't stop laughing the whole time. I'm not great at it, so it was still very fun. Pole, amazing. 10 out of 10, would do again and will do again. Hiking, I like being outside, so it was fun. Tennis, very fun, although sometimes very aggravating. Treadmill walk, a bit boring. I also feel like I did pickleball really dirty, so I'm gonna bump them up to just fine. Okay, we got nine days left, let's do this. We're ready, again, and the sun's out, again. I think I've really hit my stride. I'm feeling energized, fast, and happy. The sun has been shining, and the frost in the morning has been so gorgeous. And I'm feeling really strong in the gym. I just feel like I'm starting to see the benefits of doing cardio every day. I'm cramping up. Ah. That was my slowest run yet, which tells me I need a rest. <laughs> my legs are so tired. So luckily tomorrow is big stretch day and just moderate, so a nice long walk, which is good. I'm going for the celebrity trying to avoid the paparazzi look today. Just had a very big stretch, which was much needed. I'm out walking and look at this. I love sparkly water. How do I look? That felt amazing. Yesterday's rest day was so needed and my legs feel so much better today. Ah. Yeah, we're back to feeling it. I'm feeling so strong on these runs and I've definitely found my cardio of choice and that's walking and running. So I'm going to do the weights that I have to do and then finish this challenge with lots of walks and lots of running. That was my fastest run yet. <sighs> at one point, the guided run told me to imagine my family all standing at the end to hug me when I'm done. And I almost cried. That was very cathartic. <laughs> Wow, I feel great. Throughout this challenge, there have definitely been minutes, hours, and days where I felt like garbage or I didn't really want to keep going. But I've just been reminding myself how lucky I am to have a fully functioning heart and body that enables me to do all of this. And I find that's a pretty good motivation to keep going. And now, there's really only one thing left to do. Hello, old friend. And I'm coming for you later. I really hope that this has been somewhat motivating for you to move your body more in whatever way that makes you feel strong, fast, sexy, calm, and alive. All you can do is start and just know that you're never going to want to. Oh, and call your loved ones to tell them you love them. 37.37, which is excellent for my age group. Didn't get to the career, but that's okay. I see no reason why I can't keep this habit up. Only positive things have come out of it. Yeah, I'm gonna keep doing this in the future. Hello, little friend.